What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today's review is the BFG. When I first saw the trailers for this movie, I came away thinking that it probably wasn't gonna be very good because I've never read the book, so I knew nothing about the story coming in. But then I was like, well, on the other hand, Spielberg is directing it, so I guess let's give it a fair chance. Well, it surprised me in a few ways and let me down in a few others. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself here, so let's get into my review of the BFG. Okay, so the BFG is a Disney fantasy adventure film that was directed and produced by Steven Spielberg and is based on the 1982 novel of the same name written by Ronald Dahl, who also wrote Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. There's your random fact of the day. The basic plot of the BFG is that a little girl named Sophie who's living in an orphanage in London gets abducted by a mysterious large figure after she spots him in the middle of the night. She ends up in the figure's home where he reveals to her that he's a giant and she now lives with him in giant country. Sophie thinks she's been abducted by a human-eating giant Giant, but soon enough she finds out that he's a very friendly giant and doesn't actually eat humans so the two become friends. Sophie then names him the BFG or Big Friendly Giant and the rest of the movie is spent with Sophie and the BFG going on some adventures. The main drama in this movie is that there are some other giants not named BFG who do eat humans that Sophie and the BFG need to deal with at a later point in this film. These other giants in giant country are just sort of really dumb antagonists who bully the BFG and eat humans in their spare time. But that's basically the plot, the spoiler free version anyway. Okay, so is this movie visually impressive? Absolutely. Entertaining throughout? And not so much. There are some really exciting stretches of time in this movie, and there's some other stretches where you're more than likely gonna be bored because nothing exciting happens. Now, Steven Spielberg has done a lot of really great movies throughout his career, and you gotta tip your hat to the man because he always does good work. Sometimes great work. But this movie goes in the good, not great column for me. This isn't only because of the stretches where it feels like nothing's happening though. I also feel like this movie didn't have too much substance in the tension department either. Like I said, there are antagonists in the movie, but they're really not in it all that much, and the way that stopping them and their man-eating habits becomes the center point of the story just comes sorta out of nowhere. Cause most of the movie really is about the bond that Sophie and the BFG form with one another due to the similarities they've experienced in their lives. I mean, one is a 24 foot tall giant giant and one's like an eight to 10 year old orphan girl from London, but you get the point. They're similar because they both feel like outcasts. The BFG doesn't relate to any of the other giants in any way at all, and Sophie doesn't seem to connect with any of the girls her age or even any adults. They've both had a rough go of it in life and they form that connection because they can actually relate to one another, unlike the people or giants they usually interact with. But I say the movie doesn't have much tension because like I said, most of it feels like just a visually amazing bonding session between a giant and a little girl, which is great if that's that's what you're looking for, but in most cases, movies do need a significant amount of tension or drama that creates suspense and ultimately entertainment. Like I said, I've never read the book, so I can't say how accurate the adaptation process from book to screen was, and maybe that's just what the BFG is at its core, a story that's much, much more about the bonding of two characters who've had a somewhat rough time in life than it is a grand story with any battle of good versus evil. But I will say that these bonding scenes between Sophie and the BFG, which is most of the movie, are very well done. Visually, obviously, they're outstanding and it's some of the best CGI work that I've ever seen in a movie. It really is amazing what you can do these days with motion capture and how real you can make a 24 foot tall giant look. There are also a lot of very colorful scenes and beautiful landscapes, so I will give Disney credit in that regard. This movie is extremely impressive visually in every scene throughout the entire movie. The acting was another element of this movie that was pretty awesome. There's really only two characters in this movie that you're gonna care about in a significant way, and that's obviously Sophie and the BFG because this is their story. Sophie, played by Rudy Barnhill, is really good in this movie and she does a great job interacting with the BFG on some pretty emotional levels at times. I'm not gonna say that her character gets like super introspective in this movie where you're gonna walk out of it and be like, this kid's got it all figured out and she taught me something about myself because this movie doesn't really go that deep. But nonetheless, Rudy Barnhill did a fantastic job bringing Sophie's character to life. I sometimes think how hard it must be to interact with people in motion capture suits and even interact with sets or environments where most of them are green screen. Kudos to her though for being such a great young actress. She's definitely got a very bright future ahead of her. She definitely needs a better picture of her on her Wikipedia page though because her current one is just sad to look at. It's all grainy and you can barely even see her, so. 
But anyway, Margot Rylance as the BFG is also really great in this movie. I haven't seen Bridge of Spies yet that he won the Best Supporting Actor Oscar for, but he seems like he's a great actor in pretty much everything he does nowadays. I think the BFG is definitely the most interesting character in this movie, but he is a 24 foot tall giant, so he obviously has an advantage right from the start. I actually enjoyed the BFG as a character because he has such unique language and an unapologetic personality throughout the whole movie. If you know nothing about the book, just know that the BFG often uses like weird words and phrases when he speaks that won't make any sense to you as a viewer and you just kind of have to go with it. This is a kids movie first and foremost though so he usually explains himself but I didn't mind this necessarily as an adult because it added some immersion element into this fantasy world for me. Mark Rylance did a fantastic job in the role and really brought the BFG to life in his own fantastic way. Also kudos to the CG people who captured all of Mark Rylance's subtleties and his emotions and overall performance. Amazing job with that. Okay so this movie does have some humor but not too much. I can't say that I really laughed all that much because the humor wasn't particularly a style that I found all that funny when it did appear. I do think a kid will definitely love it though because this movie is obviously a kid's film first and foremost and the humor definitely relays that message. Not to say adults won't find some parts funny too because I think some audience members definitely will. There's one part with the queen near the tail end of the movie that I won't spoil for you but that had me laughing a little bit just because of how silly and ridiculous it was. I'll also say that the dialogue as a whole was pretty solid with some moments here and there that definitely felt a little cheesy. Cheesy for an adult, I should say, because like I said, I think a kid will love it, just like the humor. Generally though, the dialogue was pretty emotional and did feel true to the characters. Okay, so overall, I enjoyed this movie and I think it's good, but it definitely falls short of greatness. I thought the CGI and visuals as a whole were amazing. I thought the acting was really good. The two main characters were interesting and unique and the dialogue was solid overall. I also thought the film lacked any real tension or drama. The antagonists were pretty bland and barely had any screen time. Time, the dialogue got a little cheesy at times, and there were some boring stretches where it felt like nothing was happening to progress the story. I'm gonna give this movie a 7 out of 10 and say that if you're a parent and have a young child, definitely go take your kid to see this one. If you're an adult or just a fan of the book, I'd say wait for this one to land on Redbox in like three to four months. So did you guys see the BFG yet? What did you think of it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if not, let me know whether this is your kind of movie or not. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel for much more content like this. Don't forget to keep sending me your review requests because I'm building up quite a list and starting to roll through them. Obviously you get a channel shout out in that video if your request is picked, so it's worth your while to send them in. That's all for now though, this is Will Foxification signing off. See you in the next review.